Hi again, here we are to continue with our Xcode video on creating a login and register screen um, and displaying them. Um, so here I have my basic app and this example app could be any app and it, you know, in this example it, there's just these two um, screens here and uh, we'll give it a quick test, right? You know, I, I basically have these two screens and I can click to move from one to the other. Here we are, right? Okay, and uh, and this home thing needs a little bit of uh, constraints or something to make it look right. But uh, but anyway, you get the idea, right? So uh, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the home button here, and you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to the um, auto layout issues button, a little triangle here, and choose add missing constraints. And then that should just add enough constraints to make that thing look correct, I hope. So anyway, so there we are, right? So um, let's imagine that we're here. And then we need a screen to appear when, you know, when we need to ask someone to log in or register. So to do that, I'm going to make those two screens now. And so what I'll do is I'll just grab a regular view controller here from the object palette. And I'll put it down here below the other ones and maybe I'll set the size to the 3.5 inch so I have a little more screen real estate and then in this page here maybe I'll set the uh, the background color to um, to this light gray and um, let's add a text field for username and another text field for um, password. And then maybe we need a label and two buttons. Okay, so there we go. So that's my setup. And then, you know, let's kind of fix this up with some constraints too. Okay, so. I'm going to uh, arrange these things here. And maybe the label here, I'll call this login. Right? Let's make sure that's still centered, right? And then uh, maybe on the text field here, I'll set the placeholder text to username. And for the password, we'll set the, the, the placeholder text to password. And then the first button, we'll name it Login. And the second button, I'll call it Register. Okay? And then you could set the style for these two, right? But uh, that's about all we need. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to copy this view controller and then make the register screen from this because it'll be the same except maybe it'll have an extra field for password confirm or something, right? So uh, to do that, if you, this is kind of a little interesting, it's a little hard to, um, it's not hard, it's just kind of a little maybe unintuitive or not what you, what you expect, but uh, if you copy a view controller, Command-C, it's got to be selected with the blue outline. So if I Command-C and then paste it, you'll see like kind of nothing happens, right? Well... Really what happened here is when I copied this, the view controller was still selected. So when I pasted, it replaced this view controller with the one on the clipboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deselect that view controller by clicking outside and then choose paste. And now it's a little hard to see here. It doesn't look like anything changed, but this one became selected. And that's because when I pasted the view controller, it ended up on top of the view controller that it, that was already there, right? So I know that's a little, I mean, it's kind of obvious actually, but sometimes a little confusing. So, um, so anyway, now I've got two of these, right? And you could make this one, you know, by hand if you wanted to, but it was a little faster just to copy it, right? So this second view controller, let's call this register. And, um, And then let's change the names here to 
register and log in, okay? And then maybe, um, maybe I'll move those down, copy this one, and I'll set the, uh, the placeholder to confirm password. How about that, right? So, you know, th this is just kind of roughed in, but anyway, there, there's our setup, okay? So we've got these two view controllers, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to make um, a, you know, a, a view controller class file for each of these views because I'll need to handle the clicking on the buttons and getting the text from the text field and stuff. Let's actually add some constraints while we're here too. I'm going to take the shortcut and when I go to this view here, I'll click on it, go to the auto layout issues button and I'll just take a chance and say add missing constraints and that'll just make the the constraints a little faster to set up. And then I'll do the same thing in the register view. I'll click in here and choose add missing constraints and we'll just hope that it is, does a good job. Sometimes that works pretty good. Every once in a while it, it doesn't do what I expect. But anyway, there we go, right? So now we need a class file for each of these views. So I'm gonna go to the file menu, choose file new, right? A new file, or you can just do command N, right? And it says iOS source. And what I want is I want a Cocoa Touch class. And I want to make a subclass of UI view controller. And the file I'm going to make is going to be called login view controller. Okay. So I'll save that to my project folder. There it is. And then we'll let's make another one, right? Let's do command N again, Cocoa Touch class, iOS source. And then we'll call this one register view controller. Okay, so there we go, right? So there's our two files. And let's go back to storyboard. And in the first view, the login view, let's click on it, go to the identity inspector. And up here where it says class, let's call it login view controller. Okay? And then over here where it says register, Let's call this one register view controller. Okay, so now we've associated these two files each with their own view. And let's go back to the login view. And what I want to do now is I want to give each of these views an identifier that we can use to recreate this view from storyboard with our code. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll click on the view, make sure it's blue there, right? And then back at the identity inspector, you can see it says identity storyboard ID. And I'm just going to copy the name login view controller and paste it here. It's sort of a, seems to be a, a thing that, I don't know, that people usually do here is they use the same name there, right? Sure makes remembering what the name is easier, right? And like I said, what I like to do is I like to check the box here um, to use the storyboard ID as the restoration ID. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so all the names here are login view controller, login view controller, and login view controller. And then I'll go to the register view controller and I'll do the same thing. So I'll click on register view controller, copy the name, and paste it here and check the box. Okay, so, uh, so that's pretty good, right? Um, let's make one more file, okay? This time I'm going to choose command N. And this time I'm going to make a, a just a regular old Swift file. Okay, and this is going to be just a helper class to help us keep our code organized, right? And this class, I'm going to call this one login manager, okay? Dot Swift. And I'll save it to my project here. There's the login manager. And what we'll do is we'll set up the basic code here and we'll make a class um, and we'll call it login manager just the same way the uh, the name of the file is spelled and then I'll delete that extra stuff so we've got class login manager right this class is going to be a singleton and a singleton is a class that we can access from anywhere in our program there will only ever be one instance of this class and in this case that's perfect to keep track of our login because you know we don't want two or three or four objects all keeping track of the login in different, you know, they might keep different states for it. We just want one 
you know, it's kind of assigning this task to one person and they're going to always keep track of it no matter where we are in the program. Um, singletons are kind of cool too because it's easy to access them from anywhere else in your program. So this makes, I think that this is kind of a good way to do this. Um, or at least it makes sense to me and it kind of works for me. It's easy to understand, which is why I like it. So, so I'm going to make this a singleton. So what we'll do is we'll start here. We'll say static let um, shared instance equal login manager like this. Okay. And then if you want to get detailed, you can say, you can make, you can say private in it. Okay. So now by doing this, whenever we call on the shared instance property of login manager, we'll get the an instance of login manager. And since this is a let, there will only be one instance of it. You cannot change it or make a new copy of it. And then you can't make an instance of this outside because the init um, is private. Okay. So anyway, so we'll stop the video here and this will set us up. And then from here we can... Um, we can build the rest of the app, okay? So anyway, so thanks for watching, and I hope that, um, that is, this is helpful, okay?